throughout history, several figures such as the English Robin Hood and the German Schindahannes gained the title of folk heroes. They stole from the rich and gave to the poor and fought against the injustices of the rich and powerful. However, these heroes didn't only appear in Europe. During the 16th century, a figure named Goman Ishikawa appeared in Japan, and during his life he turned the island upside down as he wreaked havoc among the rich and powerful. Ishikawa was born to a skilled samurai family in 1558, and it seemed that he would have a prosperous future. However, disaster struck in 1573 when Ishikawa's family was slaughtered by the men of the local leaders. Angered by the injustices against him and his family, the boy swore to avenge his family and to destroy the entire Japanese political system piece by piece. After losing both of his parents, Ishikawa had no place to go and decided to join the infamous Iga clan. There he would learn the arts of the Iga Nijitsu, a special form of combat that specializes in assassination, escape, and concealment techniques. Ishikawa would go on to be one of the most promising students of the Iga clan. However, a few years after his arrival, he was forced to flee when his master discovered Ishikawa's romance with one of his mistresses. After he was banished from the Iga clan, Ishikawa was once again alone and decided to put his energy back into his primary objective. He began to steal large amounts of money and jewelry from the clerics, merchants, and especially the daimyos. Nonetheless, he didn't want the money, and he started to share it with the local population. As he kept on stealing, the word began to spread, and people from all over Japan began talking about the mysterious but righteous ninja. However, the powerful Danyos also began to notice the impact of the unknown hero. Farmers and workers all around the Kansai region began to steal small quantities of food and money to help each other out. The situation was slowly getting out of the hands of the local leaders, and they were obligated to use all their resources to find and stop the unknown ninja. A few months later, the Danyos finally struck luck and captured the thief that had worked with Ishikawa only a few weeks earlier. He eventually revealed the identity of the righteous ninja, and as such, everyone in the Kansai region began to search for Ishikawa. Even though the authorities never managed to find him, they did successfully capture his wife and son. The local leaders then decided to use this opportunity to set a trap. They began spreading the information of the imprisonment of Ishikawa's family throughout the population and hoped to capture the ninja while he attempted to rescue his family. As the righteous person he was, Ishikawa couldn't leave his family behind a second time and decided to rescue them. Even though he knew it was a trap, Ishikawa devised a plan that would surprise everyone. He discovered that Toyotami Hideyoshi the probably most important person in Japan at the time, was resting at the same castle where his family had been imprisoned. Ishikawa had realized that it would be impossible to rescue his family by conventional means, and got to the conclusion that he had to kidnap Hideyoshi to later exchange his life for the life of his own family. Ishikawa managed to infiltrate Hideyoshi's castle and successfully avoid dozens of guards until he reached the leader's personal room. When he opened the door, he could see the freedom of his family sleeping only a few meters away. Nonetheless, as he slowly moved towards his target, he knocked a bell off a table. This alerted Hideyoshi and his guards, who then managed to finally capture the righteous ninja. Even though Ishikawa begged for his family to be spared, he was hit with the gruesome fact that his wife had already been killed and his son had been sentenced to death. To make things even worse, Hideyoshi decided to make the final moments of Ishikawa's the worst of his entire life and sentenced him and his son to be boiled to death at the same time. However, as Ishikawa's skin slowly boiled away, he held his son over his head and proudly shouted that as long as he was alive, he would never watch his family die again. 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for more weird and awesome content.